Uh, Rambi factor time, I say overnight and also into the day Tuesday, it's going to be nasty. A Rambi factor of three for being and working outside. Three severe thunderstorms right now, southwest of Omaha, north of Omaha, west of Ottawa, and also now north of Harlan, where some large hail came down. Now the Storm Prediction Center is focusing on a corridor of wind damaging thunderstorms. Wind uh, could be in excess of 60 miles an hour late tonight, a lot of storms. And then tomorrow, Eastern Nebraska and into Iowa, an enhanced risk of severe storms. And that's primarily that midday, very early afternoon. 8658 today. So far, Epley Airfield, no rain. We've had a lot this month, though, and some areas have had a lot tonight. It's our camera at 27 the Douglas looking west at 78. Rain, some thunder at the airport, southeast breeze at 9. This is live dual pole Super Doppler 7 radar. Severe thunderstorm warning here and a flash flood warning just near and southwest of Harlan where some very heavy rain and very large hail looks like it came down. Severe thunderstorm warning here west of Anna where with this storm spreading northward, wind and hail potential. And then this storm, uh, Saunders County, a lot of lightning now getting into Valley. The winds haven't been that strong, but the tail end of the storm looks like it has a nasty hail core which we're tracking just northwest of Branched Oak Lake. That's right there. So right on the county line of Butler, Saunders, Lancaster and Seward. And if that holds together, that eventually is going to make it into the Omaha Metro. That's this cell right here. And again, it's trying to eventually come across the Omaha Metro. Then we're waiting for these storms to get going. It looks like they are now and they're going to race eastward overnight along this front, which has our wind potential threat and that could be four, five, six in the morning and then one o'clock right under the surface low. Severe storms could develop right about over the Omaha Metro and then push into Iowa and the northwest winds blow. And it finally settles down a little bit as we go into Wednesday, although we can't possibly rule out a sprinkle or a little shower north of us late in the day. All right, here's overnight. 1 a.m. going to be a little active here in the metro for a couple of hours, then a break, and then 4 a.m. This is that Boeing segment with the wind damage potential. 5 a.m. in the metro. There's 7 a.m. east of us. Temperatures will cool because of that, though. And that sort of sets up a boundary in here. And there's noon. Uh, temperatures are likely to be in the 70s ahead of this boundary, but then you'll see storms firing on that and racing into the metro. These could have wind, hail, and maybe even some tornadoes to develop and then race out of the picture off to the east of us. But by five, temperatures will have cooled into the lower 60s. So overnight tonight, a busy night, possibly severe thunderstorms, heavy rainfall, uh, some hail, a wind damage threat between 4 and 6 a.m. Another potential wind damage threat maybe between noon and 2, 230. This is for the Omaha Metro, a little earlier west, a little later farther east of us, 75 the high. 74 for the high on Wednesday. Wednesday, pretty decent day. Thursday, pretty decent day. Another chance of thunderstorms on Friday and also on into Sunday. Uh, so some active weather to be sure over the next seven days. Robin Julie. All right. Bye.